Van Min Win. Good morning. Good morning. Can you verify your name, please? My name is Van Min Win. Do you have your interview notice from USCIS? Yes, here you go. Thank you for coming today. How are you doing, officer? I'm doing good, thank you. And you? I'm doing well too. Thank you for asking. Okay, please follow me. Please put everything on the desk. I want to place you under oath before the interview. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please have a seat. Thank you. How do you say your first name? My first name is Van Min. How did you become a permanent resident? My brother sponsored my green card. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want to sponsor my parents to live in the U.S., and I also want to vote. Where do your parents live now? My parents currently live in Vietnam. Did you drive yourself here today? Yes, I drove myself. How was the weather this morning? It was cloudy. Sometime it rained for a few minutes, then stopped. It's getting better now. Do you live close to here? No, it's about three hours by car. I got up very early this morning and tried to get here one hour before the appointment. What time did you get up this morning? I got up at four o'clock. I hope the interview won't take too long. All right, before we proceed to the test, I need to retake your photo and collect your fingerprints very quick. Can you look at the camera in front of you? Now please put your left index finger on the scanner next to the tablet. Then switch to your right index finger. Perfect. Please look at the tablet and read a sentence out loud. What state has the most people? Great. I'm going to say a sentence. Please listen and write it down on the tablet. Please use the stylus pen on the tablet. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Let me check what you got. Perfect. How many U.S. senators are there? 100. When must all men register for the Selective Service? At age 18. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights movement. Perfect. Please give me your ID, your green card, and your passport. Thank you.
Do you pay taxes on time every year since you became a permanent resident? Yes, I do. Did you ever register to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you know what it means to register? Yes, it means to sign up. Are you willing to take the oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is a public benefit? Welfare, like food stamps. Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. What is your full legal name? My full legal name is Van Min Nguyen. Did you ever change your name since birth? No. Van Min Nguyen? Is also the name that appears on your green card? Yes, it is. What other names have you used? I haven't used any other names. You want to change your name to Sam Wynn, correct? No, I'm sorry. I want to change to the other name. I want to change my name to David Wynn. Can you update the name change for me? Sure. The first name is David. D A V I D. And the last name is Wynn. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Great. I'm updating it now. But the system is so slow today. Please give me a minute. Sure. Thank you, officer. When did you get your green card? I got my green card on November 11th, 2016. When were you born? I was born on May 18th, 1982. But I have a mistake on my N 400 application. Can you correct the date of birth for me? I'm correcting it right now. Thank you. And where were you born? I was born in Vietnam. You are a citizen of Vietnam, correct? Yes, I'm a citizen of Vietnam. How tall are you? I'm five feet seven inches tall. What is your social security number? Six seven two six four nine two seven three. Okay, where do you live currently? Five seven zero three Landon Creek Lane, Katy, Texas seven seven four four nine. Have you changed the address after you filed your application? No. I haven't changed the address after I filed my application. How long have you lived there? I've lived at this address for four years. You moved to this address on September first, two thousand nineteen. Yes, it's correct. Your previous address is six four four three Bright. Falls Lane, Katy, Texas, seven seven four four nine. Yes. And you lived at this address from March sixteenth, twenty seventeen, to August thirty first, twenty nineteen. Yes, that is correct. Where else have you lived in the last five years? I haven't lived anywhere else. Do you have a phone number? Yes, my phone number is seven one three 
8441-8447. All right, how many times have you taken outside the U.S. in the last five years? One time. I took one trip to Vietnam on November 21st, 2018. When did you return to the U.S.? I returned to the U.S. on November 30th, 2018. Have you taken any other trips after you filed your citizenship application? No, officer. What is your marital status? I'm married. Does your spouse live with you now? Yes, she lives with me. What is your spouse's full name? Her full name is T. Tan Hong Tran. Her date of birth is December 18th, 1985? Yes. What is your spouse's country of origin? She is from Vietnam. What is the immigration status of your spouse? She is a lawful permanent resident. On what date did you get married? I got married on November 4th, 2018. I'm sorry, I also have a mistake on the date of marriage. Can you please correct it for me? Yes, I'm working on this now. Thank you. You're welcome. Where did you get married? I got married in the U.S. How many times have you been married? One time. Has your spouse had any previous marriages? No, she has been married only one time. Your spouse's occupation is nail technician? Yes, she is a nail technician. All right. How many children do you have? I have one child. Is your child a U.S. citizen? Yes, my child is a U.S. citizen. Was your child born in the U.S.? Yes, he was born in the U.S. What is your child's name? My child's name is Adam Wynn. Is your child biological to you? Yes. What is your child's date of birth? November 6, 2020. Do you have any adopted children in Vietnam? No, I don't. What is your current job? I am an electrical worker. Where do you currently work? I currently work at ATS Machine Tools. You started working there on August 20th, 2019? Yes, that's correct. Have you had any other jobs in the last five years? Yes, I worked at Accuride Machinery from January 2nd, 2017 to August 10th, 2019. Okay. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't owe any taxes. You can only answer yes or no. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party in Vietnam? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Were you ever involved in forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. Have you ever served in the military in Vietnam? No. Did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in the rebel group? No. What is a rebel group? A group fights a government. 
Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, party, club, society in any location in the world? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Did you ever go to jail or prison in any location in the world? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combative services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. All right. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Do you know what a crime means? It is an action that breaks the law. Do you support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Yes. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Can you explain what bear arms means? To own or use a gun. Great. Please take a look at the tablet and review your updated application. Make sure your new name and other corrected information are accurate. If everything looks good, please sign at the last page using the stylus. One more step that I need you to do is review the Oath of Allegiance. This is very important, so make sure you understand the full words to the Oath of Allegiance. And if you are willing to take the oath, please sign at that page. You did a great job. You passed the interview. Congratulations! Thank you so much. I can't believe I made it. I appreciate that. You're welcome. We will schedule you to take the Oath of Allegiance later. Since you changed your name, the oath ceremony will be in a courthouse. You should receive a notice of the oath ceremony within two months. Here is a final result. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I don't have any questions. Thank you. All right, I'll take you out of here. Have a great day. Thank you.